Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, hello, my name is Skylar. I am a certified dog trainer and pet nutritionist. One of the biggest things I get asked about both on my YouTube channel and in my real life with my clients is I'm interested in incorporating raw into my pet's diet. I'm not able to do a fully raw diet, but I do want some of those benefits. How can I add raw into their diet in an easy, convenient way? And that's what this video is all about. Today I'm going to be sharing with you six super easy ways of incorporating raw into your pet's diet, both dogs and cats, and how to do it in a very easy, convenient way. It's gonna give you all of the benefits of raw without having to fully switch over. Now, first and foremost, you do not have to feed entirely raw. You are able to mix and match and incorporate raw in any way that you can. Even just adding 20% raw to your pet's diet is gonna get you so many of those benefits that raw brings to the table. I totally understand that going for commercial raw pet food may be out of your budget, but hopefully some of these six tips are things that you're able to incorporate into your daily routine, make it a little bit more affordable for you, and still get a lot of those benefits of feeding raw. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to plan ahead as much as I would have liked and offer a wide variety of brands within the products that I'm going to show you, so we're limited to what I have easily available kind of last minute at my local independent pet store, but I will be sharing with you a couple different brands and options throughout the video in case you're interested in looking into other brands or in case your local pet store does not carry the same brands that mine does. First and foremost, my absolute favorite thing to add to any pet's diet is raw goat's milk. If you've been around my channel long enough, you've probably heard me mention goat's milk a couple times, and I did do a whole video listing the different benefits of adding goat's milk to your pet's diet, so you can watch that right up here, or I'll also leave it linked down in the description below if you'd like to check that out. But adding raw goat's milk to their diet not only adds a lot of moisture, which is super, super important, especially if you're feeding a primarily dry kibble diet, but it's also a natural antihistamine, so it's gonna help to counteract any potential allergy responses. And most importantly, it's a great source of probiotics. Probiotics are what help to feed and fuel the good gut bacteria. And the gut, it makes up 70% of your pet's immune system. So keeping the gut nice and healthy is gonna in turn keep your pet nice and healthy. I am personally using the Answers Raw Goat's Milk. Primal does a great option as well in their freezer section. And if you're unable to find raw goat's milk in its fresh or frozen form, Honest Kitchen does a really good powdered goat's milk. I would recommend going for the one with added probiotics. Um, this one's a great substitute if you're unable to get the fresh stuff or if it's just easier, more convenient for you to deal with. Number two, freeze-dried raw. So freeze-dried raw is what I consider kind of a gateway raw option. Not only because a lot more people find it easier to feed their dogs freeze-dried raw, but it's nice if you don't have the freezer space for frozen raw food, or if you're sharing a household with people who are maybe a little bit turned off by the potential of raw feeding. Freeze-dried raw makes it a little bit less messy, a little bit more digestible for us as people feeding it, and it's great for traveling and storage saving options. For freeze-dried raw, I highly recommend hydrating it first, even if you're only just adding a little bit. Again, adding more moisture to your food, especially if you're feeding a primarily dry kibble diet, is going to be very, very important in order to keep the organs functioning properly. Freeze-dried raw does need to re-expand, so if you're not adding the moisture, it's just gonna take moisture from the body. The only time when this isn't necessary is when we get to the freeze-dried treats, which we'll talk about next. Right now, I'm using the Stella & Chewy's Meal Mixers. These ones are made to just kind of be added to your pet's diet. Still and Chewy's also does a powdered version as well as patties if you're doing this more as a full meal as opposed to just little bits here and there. If you're looking for other freeze-dried raw options, we have Primal, Northwest Naturals, uh, Vital Essentials, Bixby does a freeze-dried raw, Akena is doing a freeze-dried raw now, and there's plenty of others that offer freeze-dried options as well as their frozen raw. Next, we have freeze-dried treats. These ones, very similar to the freeze-dried raw meals. These ones are great to just add in treats throughout the day. One of the biggest problems with kibble diets especially is that they're way too high in carbohydrate than what our pets actually really need. 
So adding meat treats into your routine is gonna be really important to help offset the amount of carbohydrates that our pets are eating. There typically isn't much else added to the treats besides just the freeze-dried meat, so it makes it a really good treat option. And it also has the added meat and some of those benefits of feeding a raw diet while just incorporating into their treats throughout the day. This can make it very cost effective. It can also make it, again, a little more digestible for people who are just dipping their toes in raw feeding but aren't ready to commit to a full frozen raw meat sack in their freezer. Today I am using Pure Bite treats, but again, most raw pet food companies are going to have some form of freeze-dried treat, and it's becoming even more common for non-raw pet food companies to be making these types of treats. So again, Northwest Naturals, Stella and Chewy's, um, Origin and Akina are doing freeze-dried treats now. I know Pure Vita offers a couple freeze-dried options. And the Vital Essentials freeze-dried treats are some of my absolute favorites, especially their bulk treats. They have freeze-dried duck necks, freeze-dried turkey necks, chicken necks, um, snouts. They have little rabbit ears in packages that are super cute and fun. There's a lot of different options, so I highly recommend looking into those. If you're wanting something quick and easy, affordable, and maybe a little bit easier for certain people in your house if you're in a mixed household. Now we're getting into more of the freezer section and we're gonna go ahead and start with raw toppers. So these ones are for intermittent or supplemental feeding. They are not complete and balanced, which typically means they're either all meat or it could be a mix of meat or produce. I have both the Answers Straight Formula, which is just meat, organ, and bone, as well as the Primal Butcher's Block Formula, which again, meat, organ, and bone. These ones are super great if you're feeding a complete and balanced meal already, such as canned food or again, dry kibble diets, because these ones are just adding the meat and moisture. We don't have to worry about the added carbohydrate of making it complete and balanced. These ones also tend to be more affordable than the complete and balanced option, just because it is intended for supplemental feeding instead of a whole meal. It also tends to either be higher in meat or just meat, so it's gonna be more calories per piece, so you're able to potentially feed less while still getting a lot of those benefits. This is probably my favorite option if you're able to get it and you're just wanting to top your already balanced meals. Next we have your complete and balanced frozen raw food. So these ones have all of the vitamins and minerals that your pet will ever need. Most of them follow AFCO's regulations for a complete and balanced meal. That's why they can put complete and balanced on the packaging. If you're wanting to feed just a 100% raw diet, this is what you're going to want to go for. But these also make really great accessible options for topping your kibble or adding to your wet food. What's nice about the raw meals as well is they come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. Today I am using the Primal Pronto, which come in those little tiny pieces that make it really easy and convenient if you're like me and you often forget to thaw your pet's raw food. These ones thaw super quick and they're also easy to just add a handful or a scoopful into your pet's diet already. A lot of brands also make nuggets. They typically come in about one ounce. That's another great way to feed a little bit more. And patties are typically the biggest. Sometimes they're in a bar, sometimes they're just a round patty, uh, but these ones most often are the most cost effective option. You may even find these types of complete and balanced meals in bulk or chub form, where it's basically just a tube or carton of meat. I know that Answers does this as a slightly more cost effective version of their complete and balanced detailed patties. They also sell them in the big cartons, which is another way, if you don't mind handling the raw meat and serving it that way, to get it just a little bit more cost effective. Last but not least, raw bones I can talk about in a whole separate video, and in fact I will be making a whole separate video about the benefits of raw bones, but in short, raw bones are the absolute safest way to feed bones to your pets because they're gonna be really, really high in that moisture, which makes them less likely to crack and splinter. Today I am using the raw chicken necks from Primal. These ones are, make it super easy, just grab and go treat for my dogs. Because they're raw chicken necks, again, the bone is very malleable and makes it a very safe option. Not only are raw bones the safe option when feeding bones, but they're also really, really great for dental care and taking care of your pet's teeth without necessarily having to grab the toothbrush every day. 
some other options for raw bones. I know Happy Tails does some raw knuckle bones that I like. Uh, Northwest Naturals does some raw bones. Tucker's does some raw bones. And obviously Primal does raw bones as well, among many, many others that I'm sure you're able to find at your local independent pet store. I hope you found this video helpful and maybe it was able to point you in a direction to help you incorporate more raw into your pet's diet. Again, there's no such thing as all raw or no raw. Any raw that you're able to add into your pet's diet makes it that much better, and your pets will thank you too. Adding raw into your pet's diet doesn't need to be super expensive or super messy or a big hassle. There's a lot of different ways to feed raw that can fit into any lifestyle, any circumstances, any budget. So I hope, again, that this helped open your eyes to some of the possibilities that you can play around with. If you have a raw product that you love, be sure to leave those down in the comments below to help someone else out and maybe finding something available to them that they can then experiment with and maybe come to love themselves. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. We are right in the middle of August, so we're doing a month full of just raw information videos, specifically geared towards people who are new to raw, maybe interested in adding it into their pet's diet, but not really sure where to start. So this is gonna cover a lot of the basics and make it super, super easy for you guys to get some information about raw, decide if it's something that you want to pursue and maybe add into their diet, and then give you some great resources and options for how to do so. If you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram at tattoo.dogtrainer for more of the behind the scenes, my personal stuff, and more of my YouTube stuff or at Top Dog Behavior, which is more of my business profile. You'll find a lot of rawest inspired infographics there as well that you can easily share with your friends and family who may also be interested in adding a little bit of raw to their pet's diet. If you take any advice from this video and you're interested in snapping a pic, be sure to tag me in it on Instagram so I can share it and you might even see it at the end screen of one of my videos. I love seeing what you guys do with the information that I give you here on my channel and I love to see the information that I share with you guys being used to make your pet's lives healthier and more enriched. I love to see it and I do appreciate those tags so thank you for that. Last but not least, I promise this time I'm going to be linking a bunch of products down in the description below. That way it's super easy for you guys to get some more information about the particular products that I mentioned today. And without further ado, I will see you all next time. Bye.